I'm filming this in the evening, so good evening. Uh, we're in the Piper Warrior. Just purchased this for around $50, close to $50. Uh, we're going to try it out. I've flown it once and it was really nice, uh, very true to what I recall. This is the aircraft that I trained in back in 2005. We're going to start by following the exact checklist that I used during training. So let's get to it. We're here at Denver International K uh, Delta Echo November. I need to check the baggage area. We want, we're checking for loose items so that if we were in a situation, nothing would fly out back here and hit us in the head. And there, I notice, is our certificate of airworthiness. That's going to come up soon here. Airworthiness certificate is part of the ARO acronym. I'll go over that just a bit. So that's baggage area. It is checked. Everything is secured. Survival kit. Didn't see one, but uh, on this flight I think we'll be okay. The tow bar. We're out on the ramp. We don't need to tow anywhere. Documents. Here it is. Air Arrow. The Arrow acronym stands for Airworthiness Certificate, and we saw that. That's good. Uh, registration. Radio certificate is if you're in an international flight. Operating handbook. I actually have that right here. Uh, and the W is for weight and balance. We are good on weight and balance. So we got our documents. Hobbs, meter, and tack. Check. Okay, so my hours are 0.9. Uh, that's the Hobbs. The tack is here on the RPM. I got 0.4 hours. So 0.9 on the Hobbs and 0.4 on the tack. Next one is the flight controls, free and correct. Something you learn in flight training. Uh, I'm pointing to the aileron that's up with my thumb. Look to my right. Both thumbs are pointed to the aileron that's up. So, thumbs to the left, left aileron up, right aileron down. Thumbs are over to the right. The right aileron's up. And the left the runs down. Okay, and the elevator, it's actually a stabilator. The, the horizontal stabilizer is the elevator. Pulling back, lifts up. Oh, it makes that sound too. That's very accurate. So you push all the way in and it's down. It has the uh, full range of motion. I want to check my rudders. Left, right. And I shouldn't have a rolly chair. Left, right, full deflections, and I'll just check my stabilator. That's the interior. Um, we're going to move to the exterior, and we'll go back to that cam. Cockpit. Uh, back in the cockpit, resuming the checklist. Static pedo drain, drain. Okay, and that is down here. At least it should be. All I see is a vent, a floor vent. There doesn't seem to be one. Uh, the static pedo drain usually is right here. Fuel selector cycle. Now the we have off, left, and right. It's on left, so I'm going to cycle it to the right. Magneto switch off. And it is not, so we're going to put this to off. Okay. Magneto is off. ELT is armed. The ELT is the emergency locator transmitter. I don't see an ELT anywhere so let's hope we don't crash a flight and nav instruments check flight and nav instruments check what i'm looking for are any flags red flags i see some red flags what is that nav and heading they got the flags out but uh that should go away once you once it starts up the gyros start spinning i'm looking for uh, any in-op markers uh covered up instruments so my flight and nav instruments are looking good heater defroster is off heater defrost is off circuit breakers in and i see nothing popped carb heat is off carb heat here when you're at low throttle you want your carb heat on so it doesn't uh, freeze up usually happens upon landing when your throttle's low mixture idle cut off it is cut off Throttle closed. Throttle's closed. Flaps cycle. Flaps 
are cycled and I'm going to leave them down and uh, we'll find out why as I, when I go outside the airplane so I can check those linkages. Fire extinguisher check. Okay, we're in the green. There is a date. We'll call it good. Electrical switches are off. They're all on, so I need to turn these off. We don't want the pitot heat on. We don't need the anti-collision lights on. We don't need the landing light on yet. Or the fuel pump. Um, not sure why those are on. Lights are off. Yep. All switches are off. All right, you'll see in a bit why we're starting here with an inserted video. But let's take it from master switch on. Okay, we made sure all the electrical switches are off. Annunciator lights illuminated right here. Switch panel lights as required. Fuel gauges check. Fuel left is full, fuel right is full as well. Engine instruments, check. We got the oil temp, oil pressure, both in the green. Aircraft lights, check. So we uh, turn on all the lights and then go outside and check them. Do a walk around the aircraft, make sure all the lights are on. Touch the pitot tube and make sure that it's heating up. Come back inside and turn it off once we've done that. Stall warning vane, we uh, click the stall warning tab and listen for the buzzer sound in the cockpit. I don't think I can do that in the simulator, I'm not sure. Electrical switch is off. So the master switch goes off and we resume with exterior pre-flight. For exterior pre-flight, cold weather operations, we're not going to do that. Windows fuselage check. We check the seals on the windshield on our side here. Uh, around here, a few slides, we're going to walk down and check all the rivets, uh, make sure there's no cracks, chips, dents, wears, tears, cracks, etc. Everything's smooth, rivety, what it should be, the flaps and the ailerons. Uh, we're looking at the rivets, the linkages under the ailerons, make sure they're uh, mobile, free. Condition of the wingtip, the lights, no cracks, they work. We turn on all the lights and check that. Pedo heat. This piece right here is the pedo tube. Uh, the ram air goes into this small little hole there, so that hole's clear. We turn on the pedo heat from inside and we check, make sure it's warm. It's warming up. Upper and lower surfaces, straight, smooth, looks good. Right wing leading edge, leading edge, just feel across there. All intact, all good, no, no holes. We don't want, we want that to catch the wind and operate the lift on the aircrafts. That's pretty important. The stall strip, uh, I don't see one on here, but if there was a stall strip that's not loose, it's attached properly. Right wing tie down. This tie down hook right here is free of any tie downs, so it's not, we're not going to be held when we try to take off. Fuel sump, we put our uh, sump gauge into the fuel tank and dip the tank, see how much we got in there, and take a sample, make sure that it's blue for 100 LL fuel. Fuel cap, make sure that's back on tight, right main, uh, gear assemblies, uh, we take the appropriate measurements, make sure that that's not too, uh, too high or low. Tire looks pretty low. What is going on here? Like a formation going on. Uh, proper air pressure is in, t in the tires. Windshield OAT probe is right up top here. Outside air temperature probe sealed. Looking good. Engine cover removed. You're going to unlatch these and lift it up. You check the oil, the cowling latches, battery vents, exhaust, nose gear assembly. Exhaust. There's the exhaust there. Oh, we've got an aircraft behind us. Coming in, getting a little busy here. You can see this, uh, you can't just, you don't want to just jump in a plane and take off. I mean, you'd like to, but you want to check everything out. And this goes a lot uh, quicker when you don't have to use a mouse to get around the airplane. Just for vi uh, entertainment purposes, I'm using all my camera controls to really go around the plane and be detailed and do the pre-flight checks. Uh, we check the exhaust, there's no bird nest in there. Nose gear assembly is correct, everything looks good on that. Landing light in front there looks good. Alternator belt, look inside this cowling and looking down in there, feel the belt tension. 
air intakes. They're both uncovered and no bird nests, no animals, no cats. Spinner propeller. Feel around there, make sure these edges are smooth. Oil breather and fuel strainer. At the bottom here, there's little tubes. Get some, you can sump your fuel at the bottom where the sediments would collect. Fresh air inlet. You check in the other side for the same stuff. Your other wing, fuel cap, leading edge, etc. Left aileron, check the aileron, the wing tips, the lights, the linkages. You're gonna move the aileron up so you can check that. Bottom, check the bottom, look along the bottom, make sure there's no Nothing suspicious going on under there. Windows fuselage communication antennas. You got your VOR antennas down here. Secure, not broken. And these antenna down here for your GPS. Uh, you also have it. Also have some uh, antenna here on the back. The vertical stabilizer. High dent plate is secured. That may be it there. Can't get close enough, but your ident plate, identification plate. Tail tie down is free and clear. Left stabilator, you're checking the stabilators. Same thing as you would the ailerons. Tail cone piece here, you're looking in there for that linkage that moves the stabilator up and down. Look in there, you see the nut on the bolt properly secured. Rudder, move it around, make sure it's secured. Your chalk, my instructor wrote chalk, like you write on a chalkboard. But they are chocks, C-H-O-C-K-S. A uh, little pet peeve for grammar here. They are removed, and we're good to go for the exterior pre-flight. Next is before start. So before start, passenger briefing, seats, belts, harness, brakes, master switch on, alternator switch on, aircraft lights, and cabin door. Before start, seats are good. Belts harness good, brakes set and hold, and my parking brakes on. Mass switch on, alternator switch is on. Aircraft lights re as required, I'm good. Cabin door. What? What's happening now? Okay, I don't know what's happening now. Uh, my simulation computer is dead okay we're gonna, on the next video we're gonna start this maybe we waited too long and everything just died waiting here I'm gonna go change the battery in my aircraft and on the next video we're gonna run right into the before start which uh, is followed by the engine start and take off from there we'll go over to Colorado Springs join me on my next one thanks for uh, walking around the plane with me checking inside Everything's good to go. I'll see you on the next flight. Hopefully it will be a flight. Take care.